stunning vistas, incredible attractions, sandboarding down a massive sand dune, climbing a 14,000 foot mountain, skiing down a mountain that is part of a ski resort that is so large that it has five peaks, visiting the Denver Zoo, stopping in a great pizza shop after exploring the second deepest canyon in North America. You can do all this and more in the western state of Colorado. Sit back and be sure to watch till the end as we explore the best places in Colorado. First up for our highlights of the top places to visit in Colorado is Breckenridge, home to arguably one of the best ski resorts in the Rockies. Breckenridge is both a winter and summer outdoor playground. Located about an hour west of Denver, Breckenridge hosts a number of unique and fun attractions. If you come here in the winter, the obvious attraction is the skiing and snowboarding. The ski resort is absolutely massive, with five peaks, 2,908 skiable acres, 187, yes, 187 trails, four terrain parks, and the tallest chairlift in North America. You can easily spend a week here skiing every day. If you need a day off the slopes, book a sled dog or snowmobile tour with Good Times Adventures. Don't worry, if you've never been on a snowmobile, there is a large open practice area for you to get comfortable with your vehicle. There is also cross-country skiing at the Breckenridge Nordic Center. If you come in the summer, stretch your legs on one of the many hiking trails in the area. Next up is the small town of Lyons, located about 30 minutes north of Boulder and 20 minutes east of Estes Park. Now, many consider Estes Park to be the gateway to Rocky Mountain National Park, but if you are in the area, to miss this town would be a real shame. Packed with independent coffee shops, art galleries, great restaurants, and the St. Vrain River, there is something for everyone here. Spend a day tubing on the river, relax on its banks, or try your hand at Lions Classic Pinball in town, where you can play on one of more than 25 classic pinball machines. Hungry? Fill your belly with Smoke and Dave's Barbecue. And if you want to continue enjoying Lions later into the night, Head to Oscar Blues, which serves beer, comfort food, and occasionally sponsors square dancing events. There's a lot to do in this small Colorado mountain town. Estes Park is a great town with lots to do, but know that it sees a huge influx of tourists during the warmer months. That is definitely something to keep in mind when passing through on your way into the National Park. However, there is something just outside of Estes Park that you will definitely not want to miss and that is Trail Ridge Road. This road is the highest elevation continuously paved road in the country and connects Estes Park with the town of Grand Lake. The road passes through Rocky Mountain National Park and features incredible views of the Continental Divide. This is a great way to experience both Estes Park and Rocky Mountain National Park. So, no video on top Colorado places to visit would be complete without a brief look at Denver known as the Mile High City because of the 5,000 foot elevation. The capital of Colorado has tons of great attractions and things to do. While you're here, yes, you can tour the state capital, but you can also go over to the Denver Botanical Gardens, a lush 24 acre oasis with pools and sculptures and numerous different gardens. Next, head over and catch a major league football game at Mile High Stadium. Catch a live music show at Red Rocks Amphitheater located just outside of Denver. Flex your wallet and take in the sights of downtown Denver at Larimer Square. Visit the Denver Zoo. Have dinner and enjoy a show at the Adams Mystery Playhouse. Okay, now we head southwest to Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park, outside of Gunnison, Colorado. This canyon is one of the deepest in North America, at over 8,000 feet. The South Rim is easiest to visit, located just outside of Gunnison. There is also easy access to the river at the bottom of the canyon. If you are really looking for isolation, head to the North Rim. But be careful here. Although the North and South Rims look close on a map, they are actually a couple of hours apart by car. But definitely doable. Okay, so on to hiking in this park. A great trail is the Oak Flat Loop Trail. This trail takes you below the rim, but not all the way to the river, and is two miles round trip. It does get narrow in some places, so watch your step. After some time in the park or on the trail, stop into Highline Brewing for a great pizza and a huge assortment of beers brewed on site. If hiking and canyon exploring has left you in need of some rejuvenation and a change of scenery, it's time to head to Glenwood Springs. 
In town, Iron Mountain Hot Springs has 16 different hot springs pools to choose from, all with scenic views of the Rocky Mountains. There is also a freshwater family pool, where the temperature is definitely more mild and accessible. There are private changing rooms and an on-site restaurant. If you're looking to go exploring, then head to Glenwood Canyon where there are incredible trails to Grizzly Creek and Hanging Lake. Finish off your day with some laughs at the Glenwood Vaudeville Review. Can't get enough canyoneering? Great! Head to the Paint Mines Interpretive Park in the Eastern Plains in El Paso County. Incredibly odd-shaped sandstone formations, like hoodoos, seem to shift position and color depending on the position of the sun. Archaeological findings in the area show evidence of Native American people who used the surrounding clay to make colorful pottery as far back as 9,000 years. The sandstone formations come in all sorts of colors, like orange, purple, gray, rust, and chocolate brown. In order to preserve the fragile nature of the rock formations, there was no camping, no dogs, and no motorized vehicles such as ATVs. Okay, time to head west again and drop in on Great Sand Dunes National Park. This incredible park is host to the tallest sand dunes in North America. It is also massive in area. It encompasses over 100,000 acres within its borders. What is truly striking is the incredible array of surrounding natural features like snow-capped mountains, rushing rivers, and peaceful, lush forests. Sandboarding, which is basically like surfing, is really popular here, as is hiking on the dunes and taking in the impressive scenery. Then, you must, on your way out of the park, you need to make a stop at the Alien Watchtower. This is definitely a random roadside attraction that is not to be missed. The area actually does claim to have some of the highest number of documented UFO sightings in North America. And at this attraction, people have created a shrine to the aliens, as people leave all kinds of stuff here like full bottles of wine and hubcaps. You can climb up a set of stairs and look out over the field of offerings. This is a definite must-see. Please, just go. Also, sticking with the theme of only found in Colorado, there's a place in Eaton, just north of Greeley, where you can learn about the history of the washing machine. Yes, at the Lee Maxwell Washing Machine Museum, you pay a flat fee of $125 for a group up to 10, and Lee Maxwell himself takes you around and shows off his private collection of antique and modern washing machines. What more needs to be said about this? Definitely check this one out. Find more information at www.oldwash.com. That's with an E after the D. After gaining an appreciation for the history of mechanized clothes washing, it's time to lace up your boots once more and head to Leadville. This town, along with being one of the highest towns, is also closest to Colorado's tallest mountain, Mount Elbert. Topping out at an impressive 14,439 feet, this is not a mere walk in the park. This hike takes planning, strategy, and a pretty robust endurance level. Among the five possible routes to the summit, the standard route is along the Northeast Ridge. The large parking area for the trailhead is five miles past Half Moon Creek Campground. Join up with the Colorado Trail for the first mile or so before making the big push to the ridge that will eventually lead you to the summit. At about the halfway point, between miles four and five, you will break the tree line. Even though the trail can be tricky here, periodically look up and see what is around you. The scenery is absolutely incredible. The summit is a great place for selfies and congratulatory hugs. This will surely be a memory that will last a lifetime. Pro tip. If you are climbing in the summer, make sure you make the summit before noon, as summer thunderstorms can roll in and make conditions very dangerous. You will be above the tree line in a thunderstorm. Not fun. Come and see all the Colorado has to offer. Go sandboarding down a massive sand dune. Get a private tour of a museum dedicated to washing machines. Explore the great small town of Lyons and go tubing on the St. Vrain River. Summit Mount Elbert. With so much to see and do in this incredible western state, you may find that you never want to leave.